Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Sam and Fam channel. I'm Sam and um, this video is just kind of showing you guys how I do my nails. Um, it's not really a tutorial or anything like that just because I am, be I am a beginner and I am teaching myself how to do it so um, I'm not a professional or anything so um, I'm not trying to teach you how to do your nails or anything like that. I just want to show you guys how I do my nails. So um, right now I'm just using my e-file and just uh, filing around the cuticle area with this um, like pointy um, bit. It's I don't really know like the names and stuff for them or if they have like a certain name. So um, like I said, I'm not a professional so I don't really know all that kind of stuff. So just going around and filing around the edges and cleaning it up. Um, I. I did speed up um, certain parts in this video just because, you know, doing your nails does take a long time, especially for somebody who's just learning how to do it. And um, so I only showed you guys on one hand, which was easier for me to show you guys um, me doing my left hand than my right hand just because I have to focus more when I'm doing my um, other hand because it's... I'm still learning, still trying to figure out how to use my non-dominant hand when trying to um, do my nails. So right now I'm just taking this round uh, tip, cleaning up, um, roughing up my nails, and then some nail polish remover to clean it up, and then um, just grabbing this these uh, stiletto tips, and I'm just going to. Um, get the sizes that I need out. Um, I didn't really film me getting every single size out just because it kind of takes a little bit long and it's not that interesting. So um, I just filmed me getting a couple of them out. And um, when I glue these on, um, I am going to glue them a little bit lower than you would normally put a nail tip on. Just because I want to keep most of the length from the nail and I uh, realized last time um, when I used these tips, it was my first time using them, um, they're pretty long and I didn't want them that long so when I cut them down it was like there was really no point in even using the stiletto tip because once I cut it down to the size I want, the whole stiletto part was like not there. So I just, I had to reshape the whole thing over again. So there wasn't really no point in using that tip. I could have just did it with a square tip and then, and then made it stiletto. So that's why I'm putting these ones a little bit lower. That way I don't have to cut too much off and have to reshape it later. So as you could see when I'm gluing it, it is pretty low down. Um, then you would put uh, a nail tip on. And then um, when I go to cut the tip, I just cut off right under the number. So I just barely cut a little bit of the pointy tip off. And I'm just using... Um, my little pink nail cutter that I got um, in my eBay nail kit that I got and I'm just cutting right under the number so I'm not cutting too much off just a little bit that way I don't have to do too much uh, reshaping when I go to file now I'm just taking my filer and I don't really know like the grit, like number or anything like that on these. Um, not too familiar with like grit numbers and all that kind of stuff yet. Um, I know it's a little bit more rough. Um, so I'm not sure of the names or anything or the numbers of that. But I'm just following the little edges in and bringing back the pointy tip. Um, I didn't want them super, super pointy, so um, I, they have like kind of more a little bit rounder. So um, I kind of got a little bit too into it and I forgot to push record again when I started 
doing the glitter so I had already had three nails done um, and then I realized oh shoot the camera's not on so um, I'm just using this glam and glitz um, glitter that's already pre-mixed with acrylic and then I am using a glitter mix that I got off of eBay and I mixed that with clear acrylic and then another mix that I got and I mix I mixed that already with clear acrylic too so just dipping it in um, getting my uh, brush wet and then dipping it in the powder and I, I know it's kind of blurry but um, I do fix it in a minute so you guys could see a little bit better and then I just start off with small beads of acrylic like I said I'm not um, you know I'm still a beginner so still getting used to it so I just start off with small balls or beads whatever they call them of acrylic and um, just kind of going in and putting a thinner layer th thinner, a thinner layer around the cuticle area and then blending it downwards and then I will go in with a little bit more and then just keep building it up I know a lot of people um, could do it with just like one big bead um, but like I said I'm not there yet so this is just the easiest way for me to do it right now until I get a little bit better at working with the acrylic and the brush and this is actually my first time using this brush um, I was using the cheap brushes that came in the eBay um, nail kit that I got those brushes were like not good at all so I bought this brush and it's a better brush and it's easier way way easier to use so that helped a lot and I'm not doing the glitter too too thick um, because I am gonna go back and cap the glitter with the clear acrylic so um, pretty much capping or encapsulating um, is just you put the glitter first and then you go with the clear acrylic and put the clear acrylic over it to like um, layer it and cover it so that way when you file it you're not um, filing off your glitter And now I am using the chunkier glitter. Um, this glitter is a little bit harder to work with um, just because it has a lot of chunkier glitter pieces in it and it's a little hard to get it to lay down right how you want it and then it was a little bit harder to get it um, to sit right around the cuticle area because the pieces were so big but um, I did get it enough to where it looked pretty good. So now um, once they're all done, I'm just going to go back and um, cap them real quick. And um, I'm not going to do it on camera um, just because I need to concentrate a little bit more. And the way the camera is set up is kind of like right like in my way and I need to bring my hands a little bit closer to my face when I do that just because it's easier for me so there they are they're all capped and um, did I follow them yet uh, no I don't think I followed them yet so they're just capped right now with the clear acrylic and then um, I'm gonna go in and file them and then I will come back And I did speed this part up a little bit because um, like I said it's a long process and I didn't want to take up the whole video with just filing so 
And again, like I said, I'm not a professional, so if I am not doing this right, then I'll learn. <laughs> Eventually, I'll learn how to do it the right way. So I'm just cleaning up around the cuticle area. And that I think will be pretty much it for the filing so I just followed them real quick did my other hand um, buffed them out and they're ready so now I'm just going to get my clear coat out and um, I'm going to put rhinestones and stuff on them so I'm just gonna put my clear coat down and then I'm gonna put the rhinestones right on top of that and then I'm going to carry it in the lamp um, now this clear coat is actually, um, this was my first time using this one. I had just got it and this one was a little bit more thin and a little bit more like watery. So it didn't really hold my rhinestones that good. Um, the one I used before was really, really thick. So the rhinestones stuck to it really well. Um, but this one, like I said, was a little bit more watery. So the rhinestones were kind of like slipping around and they didn't really have anything to hold on to so I did have to go back in later and glue them with um, with a nail glue so that way they could stay I do like this top coat because it was really shiny but I think next time I'll use um, my other top coat so I forgot to hit play on this part um, but I added these little little micro I forgot they're called pixie rhinestones and they had little um, little pink little uh, balls in them so it was just like a mix and I just added those on that nail and then um, just putting right I'm kind of just putting rhinestones wherever um, I never really have like a plan like how I want to do it um, beforehand I just kind of just go in and just put them wherever I decide while I'm doing it so they're just all over the place I think next time I do my nails, what I wanted to do first before I did them this time was um, practice on some nails of different designs and stuff so that way I know what I'm doing before I get into it. But I didn't do that this time. I did want to, but I just went straight into doing it. But I will later um, play with some stuff and um, plan out my next set. So this is them without the flash. They're all done. And then this is them with the flash, so you could see a little bit more of the sparkle on the nails. I used three different glitters, uh, rhinestones, the little pixie stones, and all that. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!